In this video, we are going to see how to solve 0 1 knapsack problem using dynamic programming. So, first let's understand what is a 0 1 knapsack problem. So, you are given three items whose weights are 4, 2, and 2, and the corresponding values. Like when a, a thief is going to some house, then he will carry one bag. That bag will have some capacity. He cannot fill more items than its capacity. And he will see a number of items in the house. So it will have different weights and a different uh, price or different val value of that item. So the objective is to maximize the value constraint to the given weight. So the weight should be, cumulative weight should be less than the uh, maximum capacity and these are the corresponding weights and values of the items. So this array and this array both should be of the same length because there is one to one correspondence. So the item of weight 4 has a value of 6, weight 2 has a value of 10 and another item of weight 2 has a value of 12. So the problem is find the maximum value subset of val array such that the sum of weights of this subset is less than or equal to w. So how we will solve this problem? So first, uh, let's try to break this problem into sub problems. And so here we have n equal to three items, and w is. So we will either pick the last element or we will not pick it. So we can break it into two sub problems. So here the first uh, number represents the number of items and the second one represents the weight. So if we ignore the last item then we have two items remaining. and the same weight because we did not pick it and if we pick the last element again we cannot pick the last element again because we can pick all the items only once so again we have two items left but weight is 6 minus whatever was the weight of this third item and we will add the value of the third item so the value of third item is 12 because we picked that item so we got that value and our capacity is reduced by the weight of that item so here it's 2 and 6 minus 2 is 4 so this 3 6 breaks down into 2 6 and 2 4 similarly this left hand side would be with ignoring the last item. So again we ignored it. So we have one item and six weight capacity and this this is pick the second element. So if we pick the second element we get 10. Here it's 0 because we did not pick. And again we have one item and weight again reduces by 2. So it's 4. And the similarly here 1, 4 and 10 and 1, 2 and this will further break into 0, 6 and first element's value is 6 so 0 and weight is 4 so 6 minus 4 is 2 and this will break into 0, 4 and 0, 0 and this this we have already solved here so whatever will be the value of this we will add it here so you see that we, we already are getting some uh, repeated solutions which is one of the main ideas of using dynamic programming that we will avoid recalculation of the same 
uh, solution. So first time we solve this one four, we will reuse it here. So you see that every, in every step we are expanding the tree by two. So it's two to the power n solution, so or exponential solution. If we just use this uh, recursive approach, so a recursive approach would be f of n w is equal to max of f of n minus 1 w and f of n minus 1 w minus weight of n plus val of n. So in this case we did not pick nth item and in this case we pick picked nth item. So these are the only two possibilities and we will see uh, in which way we get the maximum values. So this function is recursively calling some smaller part of this same argument. So now let's solve this and again here 1, 2 will break into 0, 2 and 0, minus 2. So we know that uh, weight should be less than w so this part is invalid and if we have zero items and we are given two then we cannot pick any item because we have zero items so this is also zero so maximum this is zero and zero so this has zero solution and here this is zero this is zero but this is six so this will ultimately be six so this is maximum of zero and six is six and here this is zero this is zero and six so here also it's six and so this two six will have solution of six and six plus ten that is sixteen maximum is sixteen now look at the right hand side So this is 0. Oh, uh, this 1, 4 is 6. We solved it here. So this is 6. And this is 0. This is 0. So it will be 10. Maximum of 6 and 10. So here we have 16. And here we have 10 plus 12. 22 so maximum will be 22 so for this question the solution will be 22 we have to pick this 10 and 12 so how will we will write the code for this so first let's write the recursive code so knapsack or rather write k of W n well and weight arrays so if n is 0 that is we don't have any items left or weight is 0 the capacity is 0 or the number of items is 0 then simply return 0 because we cannot pick any item if weight of last item is more than the capacity then we will not pick this last item so we will return this same function with same weight but n minus 1 or n was the second argument so n minus 1 will be here if last item is not less than not more than w then we will have two cases return max of 
k w n minus 1 weight and well so this is the case where we did not pick the last item and the second is when we picked the last item so this is the recursive solution but as we saw earlier we will be solving multiple problems multiple of times like one four is solved here also and it will branch out here also so this was a very small example with the just three items so you will not see too many of repetitions but if the uh, number of items increases then there will be uh, many uh, such repetitions so we will use dynamic programming and we will create a table of size n plus 1 and w plus 1 so the main idea is to store any repeated solution so we will use the tabulation method that is bottom up approach so let's create one table So this represents W. And the rows represent the items we pick. So 0 means no items. 1 means just the first item, then first and second item, and first, second and third item. So first item's weight was 4, and these were 2. So if we have to pick zero items we cannot gain anything we cannot gain any value because we don't have any items or if our capacity this is capacity of the knapsack so if capacity is zero then also we will not add any object if the capacity is one and we have to use just the first element whose weight is four so for all values less than four we cannot pick that item because capacity is less than the weight of that item so here we will pick it so its value was 6 10 and 12 so let's write the values here 6 10 and 12 so this is value this is weight so we get 6 and if its capacity is 5 also for all values more than this it will be 6 because we can pick that item and we have just that item here it means we are allowed to use 1 and 2 so here uh, both items are more than 1 unit of weight so it will be 0 2 then we can pick just this element second element so its value will be 10 3 we can pick second element 4 we can pick either this or this so if we pick this we get 6 value and the remaining capacity will be 0 so one possibility is 6 and if we pick this we gain 10 plus remaining capacity of 2 but the other item left is of weight 4 so we cannot pick any more so maximum of these two that is 10 similarly for 5 but in the case of 6 we will break it into we pick the last element and we gain 10 and the remaining weight of 4 or we do not pick the last item and we pick the first element with the remaining weight of 0 so the solution for 4 is 4 using one item is 6 so it will be 16 and this is 6 so maximum is 16 similarly with three items of weight 2 we can either pick this last item in that case it will be 12 if we don't pick last item we have to pick either first or second item so if we pick second item we gain 10 and if we don't pick second item 
we will be left with 4 and 2 is less than 4 so we cannot pick so maximum of these 2 is 12 for 3 using all 3 items we can pick only 1 item again maximum will be 12 for 4 we can pick 2 items so it will be 22 we will pick this and this second and third item similarly for 5 and for 6 so the answer is 22 now let's write the dynamic programming based solution so same thing w weight well and n so we will initialize an array of size n plus 1 and w plus 1 and for i equal to 0 to n and for w equal to 0 to w if i is 0 or w is 0 then k i w is 0 that is either the capacity of the bag is 0 or the number of items we have is 0 then in both cases we cannot add any item so the first row and first column so it corresponds to that else if weight of ith item is less than or equal to w then k i w is equal to max of well i minus 1 plus k of i minus 1 w minus weight of i minus 1 so we picked the ith item and the second is we did not pick ith item so it will be k i minus 1 w and lastly if the weight is of ith item is more than w then we will simply ignore the ith item and finally we will return k of n and w so this will be the tabulation method of dynamic programming to solve 0 1 knapsack problem so thanks for watching and give your valuable feedbacks in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you